TechShare. I'm Tom Grissom. In this episode, I'd like to give an overview of using our NEC remotes uh, used in combination with our Xtron video switch boxes to display either the instructor screen to the front of the room or to play a DVD slash VCR movie to the front of the room. So to begin with, I need to explain that we have two basic styles in our technology enhanced classrooms of NEC remotes. Our media services department has standardized on NEC uh, brand projectors and remotes over the years, and it makes it easier uh, as an instructor because once you learn how to use one of our technology enhanced classrooms, we've replicated that across campus and that uh, makes it very easy uh, for you to learn the equipment. So to begin with, Let's jump over here and look at the two basic styles. Um, the first one I call style one. Um, it's the older style remote. And let me just shrink this down a little bit. You can see that the two different styles are, are two different shapes. Uh, but if you have trouble identifying them whenever, the, whenever they're by themselves, the easiest way to tell is you'll notice on the newer style, we have an HDMI button. That's the easiest way. Uh, about five years ago, we switched over to the HDMI projectors. Uh, and that gives the HDMI functionality. But while we're here, let's just take a look at four or five of the basic functions, uh, the basic buttons that you need to know uh, as a teacher professor using our technology enhanced classrooms. The first one, obviously, to turn the projector on. The on button is located in the upper right corner of the remote. Same thing with the newer style. To turn off the, re the uh, projector, the off button is located in the upper left. Same thing for the newer style. Now, to turn the projectors off, you do have to press the off button once and you will see a message on the screen that will say power off. Are you sure? And if you press the off button a second time, it will turn the projector off. Please make sure you turn the projectors off whenever you finish your classroom session. The bulbs are very expensive and we want to uh, use the bulbs during instructional time and not idle time. So let's just jump back over here. Other buttons to be aware of. Uh, the main one to be concerned with is what's called the computer one button located here on the older style and on the newer style remote it's located right here and then the uh, last button as far as video sources to be concerned with is the video button located right here on the uh, on the older style NEC remote and the video button located right here on the newer style uh, remote now each of the remotes is paired or associated with the appropriate style of projector so if we look here, here's the older style. And this is our older style NEC projector. While I'm here, I'll also mention, uh, you may want to point the remote at this little infrared sensor. Sometimes when the batteries get weak, uh, whenever you point with a line of sight, it makes the, the uh, projector a little bit more responsive. And then if I scroll on down to the newer style, uh, here's the new style remote, and here's the new style projector. You can tell the new projectors are a little bit more rectangular, a little bit more boxy, and the infrared sensor is located right here on the newer style uh, projectors. All right, so let's jump over to a typical scenario. Probably the most common scenario, the reason that we want to use the large screen in the front of the room is to display the instructor station screen up to the front of the room. So we need to be concerned with two things. We need to be concerned that we're on the right video switch inside the podium, and we need to make sh be sure that we're on the right uh, video or source, projector source for the, for the, uh, for the uh, NEC projector. So to display the instructor screen, very easy. Make sure that you are on switch number one on the Extron box inside the podium, and make sure that you are, are on computer one on the remote. Okay, that combination uh, will project the instructor screen to the front of the room. So to do that, let's zoom in here. I want to be on the computer one button. There's the older style and the computer one button if you're using the newer style. All right, the second scenario is if I want to play a DVD slash VCR, the old VHS style uh, movies, we still have the DVD VCR uh, players in our classrooms. In fact, let me just jump down here. So if you're using a DVD player or the VCR player, all right, uh, while I'm here, I'll also mention we do have sound. So to control the volume of the laptop or the tower computer or the VCR DVD, these knobs right here to turn up the volume or turn down, whatever it may be. Uh, but once again, to use 
a DVD or a VCR, we make sure that we're on switch number one, same as the other. So the video uh, switch box, the Extron switch box is on switch number one. And this time, if you're using that DVD, uh, DVD slash VCR player, you need to make sure that you're on the video source on the remote. So the video source is located right here on the older style, and it's located right here on the uh, newer style. Now to put that into words, let's just go over here. Uh, make sure the Extron switch, uh, Extron switch is on number one and the NEC projector remote is on video. We do ask that if you do use the uh, video, uh, please change it back to number one, computer number one when you're finished because most likely the uh, next uh, instructor walking into the room will want to display the large screen. And if you don't do that, you might see a blue screen uh, and it just makes it easier, a little bit less troubleshooting that we have to worry about uh, with that. So that's the, uh, that's the basics of using the NEC remotes in combination with our Extron video switch. Uh, makes it very nice. You can play a movie, DVD, v VHS tape, uh, display anything that's on the computer screen, so it makes for a very nice instructional setup. So that's it. Until next time, this is Tom Grissom. Keep on learning.